boys and girls, rabbits and squirrels. Welcome back to NC Texas. It is Sunday, February the 12th, which means Valentine's Day is coming up. Hope you're ready. So a thing happened. Um, I went to Granbury yesterday. Uh, me and my wife visit my daughter and son-in-law, grandkids, look at a bunch of Aussie mini puppies and things like that. I guess we're going to get one of them. Anyway, um, and she's, she said, um, look, we're going to Glen Rose and uh, there's this place they, you know, they've, they've got a bar and, a, and they have live bands sometimes and they throw axes and all this stuff and, and they've got, you know, food, you can order food while you're there. And I was like, we, sure, you know, we, we like to eat and I'll throw an ax. So, so we went, it was barbecue. Now, for those of you that have followed this channel for any amount of time, you know that I'm kind of a bar, I'll say it again, a barbecue snob. Because I've been to so many places in Texas that had su such great barbecue. And, you know, some hits, some misses, differences of opinions here and there. But I didn't know it was going to be barbecue. All I had was my cell phone. That's all I had. And, and just had to wing it. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Um, look for the big rocks at the end. I'll explain. Anyway, you ready? Gus, hit the intro. We ended up at the Sexton Mill. Uh, so what is that? You've probably never heard of it. I never did. Well, okay. They've got barbecue. They've got live music. They've got a full bar. They've got axe throwing. They've got pool tables. And just behind them, they've got the beautiful Paluxy River. So let's get into this. Um, like I said, I, I really wasn't prepared. This could be a short video. I need to come back and make a better video. Um, we, we really had a good time. It was me and my wife. Uh, my daughter and her husband, their two little girls, and some friends of theirs. And this is Glen Rose. Glen Rose is not far from Granbury, and they live in Granbury. So we showed up. It's really a cool, inviting place. Um, very relaxed. I'd like to see what kind of bands they have, um, you know, what kind of music they play. That's where the action is right here. This guy looks like, he, you know, they're obviously trailers, so maybe they were roaming around for a while and he ended up parking it here. This is a family owned business that that is a full service bar. You can get what you want to drink. I just had a Ying Ling and, and a thing, one shiner. So check out this menu. Hit pause if you have to. Look at the things that are offered. Um, I need some explanations. So like I said, I'm going to have to come back here. It was Saturday night or it was late Saturday. The sun was going down. Guy was pretty busy back there at the smoker. I ended up getting a chopped beef sandwich. My wife got the nachos um, loaded with sausage. And those are the ugliest ribs I've ever seen in my life. But you know what? They were pretty dang good. Uh, I'd, I'd eat them again. I got a sample of the brisket, and this is not what you'd expect. Central Texas brisket, the salt and pepper. Uh, but it's got a really good flavor. Very tender, juicy. It was really good brisket. I'm going to have to come back and have more than just a, a sample. Here's the Paluxy River. Um, yeah, they, they, you know, they had dinosaurs roaming up and down this thing at one time. That was before I was born, I do believe. But look at this patio. All this area. Where you can sit out here and eat. You can listen to the band. Um, it's, it's really cool. They've got all kinds of games. They've got cornhole. Um, obviously, you know, arcade games play in the pool, um, whatever you want to do to, to, to relax with some friends, knock back a couple of beers. I, I'm going to come back, I'm going to throw an ax. There's a man right there, I understand he caught that sucker on fire and burned his leg. 
This is Big Rock Park. I've been going to this place uh, as long as I remember since I was a small child. My parents brought me here. It's in, uh, obviously, it's also in, in Glen Rose. Uh, these rocks are natural formations. I think this was at one time a coastline and um, the water just you know eroded away the rocks and this is what you ended up with hope you enjoyed this short video uh, i'm gonna have to um, have to do them right in the future and go back to sexton feed sexton feed mill and um really put a plate together i didn't really this time but i'll be back subscribe comment share with your friends